Hey kids, welcome to Kids Life Online. My name is Bo and I'm so glad you can make it here today. I have a question for you. What was the best thing that happened this week? Have you thought about it yet? I want to hear it. Yell it out on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Did you know that we can help others have fun too? I love helping others. And one of God's dreams for us is that we would be known for showing God's love and helping other people. And that's our big idea for today. I can look for people who need help. Do you like to help people? How do you know who needs help? And how would you help? These are all things we're going to learn today. But before we get to that, let's check out our Bible verse for this month. It's found in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. It says, with God's power working in us, God can do much, much more than anything we can ask or imagine. This message from God is so, so important that we put it in a song just for you. Let's stand and sing together. Nice job everyone. I just love seeing you do those dance moves and singing that verse. Today we're learning how God wants us to help others. And the Bible story is actually a story that Jesus told his followers. It's all about how we can help others the way God dreams for us. At the end, he asked an important question. Who was a neighbor? As you watch, let's see if you can discover the answer. You ready? Let's watch the story about the Good Samaritan. Stories of the Bible, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question, Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus replied, what does the law say? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> by chance, a priest came along. Hey. 
But when he saw the man lying there, ah, yuck, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Ah. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. All right, who was the neighbor in the story? It was the Good Samaritan. He saw someone who needed help and it didn't matter who it was, he just helped. And that's what we can do too. Because here's the thing, you can't help someone unless you know they need help. It's our job to look and listen to see what's going on around us. When we do, we can find opportunities to love others by helping them. Okay, it's time to check in with Matt and Dawson for another episode of Smash Up. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, welcome to Smash Up, the weekly show where we combine two of our favorite things to create a totally new experience. I'm Matt Cho. And I'm Dawson. We believe the best things in life are discovered when you take risks and you try something new. Peanut butter and jelly. Ham and Swiss. Chicken and nuggets. See, none of these amazing combinations ever would have been discovered if someone didn't dare to dream a little bigger. And we're here to do the exact same thing today. Every week we're mixing up all kinds of games and activities in order to create something brand new, unlike anything we've ever seen before. Yes, yeah, so without wasting any more of your precious time, it's time for Smash Up! All right, as tradition, it's time to spin the wheel. Uh, you want to spin the first one, Dawson? I would love to. Here we go. Let's spin it. And Nerf Blasters. Yeah, Come Nerf on. Blasters. Woo. You ready for the second right. wheel? Yes, I'm going to spin it. Let's All right, here we go. Spin it. All right, oh, I hope it wins on this one. Oh, oh, yes, it's Star Wars. Woo. This is going to be a blast. Yes, this is going to be amazing. So Nerf guns and Star Wars, what should that be? You know, I've got a few ideas. Come on. Cool, let's do it. Woo. What's up, friends? We're here today for Smash Up. We've got our Star Wars on and our Nerf Blasters. We're gonna be playing a little bit of Capture the Flag. My team against Matt's team. The goal of the game is to capture Baby Yoda. We're trying to get him from the middle of the maze. If you get hit with a Nerf Blaster, you gotta sit down for 10 seconds. All right, well, you guys get the rules? All right, then let's go to battle! Woo! I've been hit! <laughs> you gotta sit down! Ah, I'm just getting tough now! Ah, I've been hit! Seven, eight, nine, ten! Ah, 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 my mask! Ah. Where is Baby Yoda? <laughs> oh, oh man, this game is going on for way too long. Everyone else is camping out on their sides of the station. No one's found Yoda yet. It's been ah. just an ongoing battle. 
Oh man, something just something needs to change. So technically, I won this week's challenge, but I wouldn't have made it very far without Matt's help. So what made you choose to help me instead of your own team, Matt? Well, you know, sometimes having fun is more important than winning. We were reaching a bit of a stalemate, and I wasn't sure if either team was ever gonna score, so I, I thought it'd be more fun to throw in a surprise. That's, that makes sense. Yeah. So what gave you the idea? You know, I, I thought of one of my favorite scenes in the original Star Wars trilogy. Um, spoiler alert, by the way, everyone who hasn't seen Return of the Jedi, cover your ears right now. Great, okay, I'll let you know. We'll let you know when you can uncover it. Um, so, when Darth Vader sacrifices himself to save Luke, it's a really beautiful moment. He puts Luke before himself and chooses the greater good. Okay, you guys can uncover your ears now. We're all good. All right, and as awesome as that was, it pales in comparison to the selfless sacrifice that Jesus made that is an even greater than that cinematic moment, and it was 100% real. And do you know why he did it? He did it for you and for you and for all of us. See, Jesus sees you and he loves you and he chose all of us over himself when he died on the cross. But before that happened, Jesus told lots of other stories to help people understand why we should choose to help other people, even when it's not popular or inconvenient. In the story of the Good Samaritan, Jesus told about a Samaritan man who chose to help a Jewish man who was hurt, even though their people were enemies. He didn't let sides determine whether or not he should do what was right. Instead, he just did it. He took care of the man's injuries, gave him a ride to an inn where he could get some rest and heal, and he even paid for his stay. He literally took care of everything. Now God's dream for us, for all of us, is that we would be willing to help those in need, no matter who they are. And it starts by being aware of the people around us and seeing them the way Jesus does. That means we need to be constantly on the lookout and listening for people around us who need help. We can be a friend to anyone in need by giving them our attention and encouragement, uh, sharing a meal or clothes with them if they need it, praying for them or just being with them and asking how we can help. Well, Matt, thanks for helping me out today. I, I know I couldn't have won without you. You know, I got you, man. I I'm always happy to help you out. And I hope everyone watching today can find ways to help others this week. If you do, let us know about it, because we always like to hear about how you guys are implementing the lessons we talk about here on Smash Up into your daily lives. Guys, thanks so much for joining us today. We are excited to see you back next week for another week of Smash, Smash Up. Up. Bye. Bye. That looked like so much fun. I would totally dominate that game. I have to admit, I didn't expect the game to end that way. I would have wanted to win no matter the cost, but would it have been worth it? Probably not. There is nothing wrong with wanting to win something. In fact, it can be fun. But Matt saw what was going on around him and thought of a way he could help his friends. Now, let's say our big idea all together. I can look for people who need help. This week, have fun looking and listening to what's going on around us. We can all pay attention to see who around us may need help. I hope you had a great time today learning together from the Bible. We learned that when you look for people who need help, we can see opportunities to show God's love to everyone. Okay, let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you for loving each of us. I pray that we can look and listen to what's going on around us. If there is a way for us to help others, please show us what to do and give us the courage to do it. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for joining us today, kids. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.